What up, y'all? It's your girl, K. Michelle, and I am here with my fave, Nicole Vichy. Make sure you check out her website and her video series. It's going to be hot. People like me are going to be on there. So with all this you got going on, mm -hmm. how do you, how, well, I was about to say, how do you date? Well, obviously yeah. you date. You get a little more dating than me. Yeah. <laughs> Way more than yeah. I am. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I date. It's so funny how dating is because it'll be people that'll reach out and um, cause I really don't go anywhere. Yeah. So um, it's people's agents to reach out. <laughs> publicists. People, publicists. Managers. All of that. That that'll happen. I'll be at a bit event or bump into somebody, and um, yeah, I'm still. Figuring it out. It's, you sound like somebody <laughs> comes to you with a catalog and like just pick they one. They do, Chelsea. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the <Girl. problem. laughs> they kind of do. It's kind of like Tony Gaskin is great at that too. Oh, but, I know. He just told okay, me this is a plug for Tony because he definitely did uh, set me up on a date. Okay. And, and the guy is a really good guy. And, mm -hmm. and but know, he's it might tried, like with something. me. He told me he'll, he'll send me full profiles. You know, Tony will send me yeah. a picture, what they do for a living. <laughs> sure enough. What do you think this is? He's on my show, too, um, just even talking to me about dating. And he finally was real with me and said, I really think it's you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> but it, he was honest. He was yeah. just like, you have been so hurt. You just say fuck it real quick. Yeah, definitely. And I hate to see tweets and stuff. She can't keep a man. No, I leave them men. Oh. <laughs> leave, uh, what is it? Love them all. <laughs> yeah, love. I leave them because I'm just at a point now where if it ain't working, it's not working. I'm just not going to stick with somebody because I don't want to be lonely, Nicole. I feel It'll happen for you and me. We might, you know, I'm going to come to your wedding. But I, you know, I've been, the thing is, I'm I've been reading your quotes and you say like, like, all these guys, you say they're good guys, and I'm like, so what happened? Like, the J.R. Smith. He's you said, not a good guy, though. No, you said. He started off a good guy, <laughs> and it was me, oh, because okay. I was trying to push him away. Okay. J.R. was trying to push him away. Then after that, you know, J.R. has his own mental issues, and um, he started to take advantage of my kindness. Because, you know, when a man know he got you, yeah, and you're fighting and you really for him, yeah. that's when they clown. This was after the radio interviews yeah, and you said and how he much was like, you had I to got to I'm going to do this. And it I'm was a just crazy. a little bit, you know, too much. And so what I don't like about JR now is that he could be in the same room with me and he tells other players and stuff, oh, my God, I got to move because she's going to be trying to bother me. Boy, don't nobody want you. And the players that you're telling actually are really close with me so they're laughing at you jr yeah i don't want you i don't your girlfriend whatever she is please she don't have to call me no more oh lord nothing see uh, you know i've never well only one time i was about to say i never went through that drama where the girlfriend I've been calling, saying, you blessed. they coming out i got baby mamas hanging from ceilings and stuff <laughs> i be baby everywhere in the cold <laughs> looking for me honey they find me so that's another thing you know um mm -hmm. I just know that the right one is gonna happen right now. My mother told me, always told me, date, date yeah. them. Now, when I say love them, I don't say fuck them all. Yeah. I just date them. I can date. The men can lie on their sausages if they want to. I don't have nothing to do with that, but I'm not gonna just settle. I'm gonna continue to yeah. date. I think you're up front with your, like. I am. <laughs> you're up front, like you up front with your dating. You, you talk about all the guys, you write songs for all ooh, of them. Oh, I write so, ooh, yeah. I will get, if I can't write a song about you, I'm not going to date you. Oh, okay. It's not have to be, as, that means you're not inspiring me and it's not wow. going to work. Mm -hmm. So talking about the songs you wrote for people, you wrote okay. a song, Damn, for Ocho, Ocho. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why you did a little cringing? Oh, because I wrote a lot of songs about people. I don't even know which ones you going to get into. Um, Damn, um, for me, um, was a record. Ocho was trying to date me. And, and you know, was it was running. just a lot of no's, yeah. It was right. a lot of no's from, you know, and I don't listen to people, but you know, you do have to pay attention somewhat. And um, I'm like, damn, I'm feeling some type of way. Like, you know, I, I want to try to get to know you and love you, but not today. Yeah. And that's what damn was about. You know, you're cool, but now's not the time for it. Okay. And that was real. <laughs> I kind of dated Ocho uh -huh. at one point and I didn't tell, let me tell you. His I, penis is so big, Nicole. <laughs> I would not let him have sex with me because I did not want him to stretch my walls <laughs> out because I need them. Okay. I need them. I looked at his penis and I said, you know what? Mm -mm, I'm not. That thing is unreal. <laughs> I can't. I can't even. I, I can't take that. 
Uh-huh. Okay, well, I'm gonna tell you the reason why we, well, I stopped dating him because I just felt like he was just so, like, behind closed doors, he was so, like, not as outrageous as he is in the mm-hmm. public, but I felt like he just wanted that life. And he, he, he tried to put our business out there, and I'm kind of private. I get it, the tweets and things the like that. Tweets, that was another he thing. tweeted openly, and I'm That kinda, was another thing. Like, I like to talk when I'm happy with someone, that's fine, but, you know, yeah, I get it. I mm-hmm. know exactly what you're saying. He's like, I want to be on the low for a second. Yeah, until you know that's the one. Until you won't I add know another body one. count. Exactly. Until you on hand, your I- girl, your body counts is some serious <laughs> stuff, Nicole. Exactly. So, um, definitely, I get that. He's he cool, nice guy. Like, he still is funny. Um, yeah, but between that, I was not screwing him with that penis. And then on top of that, I just, you know, I just felt like, you know, he has his own healing to do. And, he does. You know, I was going through my healing of situations and things like that, and it was right after Evelyn mm-hmm. and all of that. So it wasn't time for that. It wasn't, and you could have been caught Mm-mm. up in a whole it bunch It wasn't of... time, and she blocked me on Twitter. Oh, I man. love Evelyn. I'm like, I don't got nothing to do with this, Evelyn. You, you know, I really like you. So you can unblock me, Evelyn. I mean, I really do, you know, like you. <laughs> And talking about penis. All right, we're go. talking about penis. I just let's got go. one more. Mm-hmm. So what you said about Lance, that's your ex. Mm-hmm. You said he had some really nice qualities with him other than his blank looks down. <laughs> said that? Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> In an interview. Um, Lance, I can say this. I can honestly say this, and this is not saving face for a statement. Lance, um, you know how people have two different sex styles? Yeah. Lance is young. You know how they like to get to it. Oh, yeah. You know, get to it and, you know, whatever. No foreplay or nothing. Like, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the last time I screwed Lance, it was good. Oh, okay. Since well, we he broke redeemed up. himself. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, but All I think. Right, Lance. <laughs> yeah. But Lance has matured. Um, he has matured a lot. He, um... He just is different. I, I just see a whole different Lance when I talk to Lance right now. And and we're friends. And, you know, yeah, like I said, the last time we had sex, it was very passionate. <laughs> All right. So so is there any <laughs> chance of getting back with him? Or it's just like, no, I can't do that. Uh, long as, I mean, Lance's baby mother is a, is a, um, is a science project. I, I mean, um... I don't know. Like, me and him are really getting to be friends. I think I rushed him into a relationship he was not ready for. And now that I don't rush him, now that we can just talk Now you friends, can breathe, yeah. We can breathe and be friends, and we're breathing as friends right now. What was it about him that made you say, I want to be with him? Because Lance is so fun. He's so funny. Um, I love his dedication to his craft. Mm-hmm. All these athletes do stuff. That man doesn't smoke. He doesn't really drink. He gets up every morning, no matter what, mm-hmm. and works out. And that's sexy to me. Someone who is that into their craft and takes it serious is that sexy. And I love his smooth skin. <laughs> and he whispering in LeBron's He's ear. Joking. He ever whisper in your ear like no, that? You know what? what? Blowing they, your ear I like was that. crying laughing, Nicole, <laughs> because everybody was so into it. But I know his personality. He's yeah. like me. He'll, he loves messing with LeBron. He'll poke just to throw you off your game. So... Really a great friend of mine. I never thought I would say that, but really a great friend of mine right now. I really felt, like felt, 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 knew that this was my soulmate. This is the person who understood everything about me. Basically, I was like a glorified side chick. Girl, I remember asking somebody was I gonna die. Recently, you were asked about Idris. And you oh. know, all <laughs> women around the world want to know. Just go, Nicole. You better come, come through with me, Nicole. Yes, Nicole. <laughs>